Turning our attention over to the Blue Alliance, they should have a quite an eventful autonomous period. All the robots over there are known for doing pretty well. 3940 able to leave their zone. Unfortunately, 496 seems to be stuck on the charge mechanism. 234 just about able to get level before the end of that autonomous period. 1646 able to leave their area to get those travel points during the autonomous period. We'll just see just how those scores totaled up as we end the match. But still, plenty of time remaining. There's the 9656 that Shamrock Box quickly grabbing cones from their human player station. That's the only way new game pieces can be introduced into the game. There's three different slots for those to enter the game. 40, 20, uh, 40, 96 control Z demonstrating the uh, vertical slots with their orange human player. Has to be careful. 234, Cyber Blue, quickly maneuvering across the field as well to gain points for their alliance. They want to place that cone game piece anywhere in the grid. The higher they score, the more points they'll get for their alliance. 234, able to successfully drop it there in the top part, not only in the Grace Professional and Collaboration Zone in the center, but also gaining a link for their alliance, lowering the threshold from usually five to only four of those links. Remember, winning the point can give you ranking points. Getting enough points in the grid with links and then also in the charge station are ways to increase your ranking point outside of winning the match. 1646 Precision Guessworks precisely placing a cube on the top part of their grid area. After successful lease, seems good. A little stuck on the detach there. As we move forward in the match, 45 seconds of remaining, 234 Cyber Blue picking up a cube, heading across 4756, working with a little bit of a deflated cube as long as it remains behind the taped line that will score points for their alliance. 3940 whizzing across this field with their nice purple light stick, able to be identified easily on this field as we get started in today's match. 30 seconds remaining, we start to see teams moving towards those beat up charge station. Lots of love put into those to make sure they're working. Blue Lions laying up for a three robot balance. Getting about 10 points for each of those, I believe. We'll have to see when the scores come out. Still plenty of time remaining. Our teams are pretty happy with the current status of things. We'll have to see how the scores total up with the remaining time in the match. That's about it for Qualification Match 20 here at Boiler Bot Battle. Here are your scores, qualification match 20. Your winners are the Red Alliance. With a score of 116, getting three ranking points, not a quite enough in the charge station or grid to get that fourth, but enough for the Red Alliance members to ascend in the ranking as we continue our competition here at Boiler Bot Battle.